Successful implant treatment is the result of a precise and well-planned surgical procedure. Take your time to prepare the Simplant Guide and the surgical instruments that you will use. Let's start when you receive the Simplant Guide. Your Simplant Guide will be delivered in a box together with instructions for use and a patient-specific surgical guideline. For a Simplant Safe Guide for Ankylos, for Xive and for Astrotech implant system, case-specific surgical instruments such as the sleeves on drill or drills can be delivered with the Simplant Safe Guide, so you don't need to keep stock. Check that the components of the surgical kit correspond with the components listed on the surgical guideline and that the surgical guideline corresponds with your preoperative Simplant plan. The pouch in which the Simplant Guide is delivered is not suited for sterilization. Remove the Simplant Guide from this pouch and follow the cleaning and sterilization methods specified in the Simplant Guide instructions for use. Place only one part per tray in the sterilizer and make sure that no forces are applied to the Simplant Guide. Let the Simplant Guide cool down to room temperature before using it. Now that you've sterilized the Simplant Guide, you can sterilize all additional components according to their individual directions for use. Now you need to check the fit and stability of the guide before surgery. For a tooth supported Simplant Guide, check the position of the guide on the patient's teeth. For a bone supported Simplant Guide, check the position of the guide on the printed bone model that is delivered with the guide. Check the distance between the Simplant Guide and any remaining teeth, as well as the distance to other important anatomy, such as the mental foramen. For a mucosa-supported Simplant Guide, carefully check the position of the guide on the patient's soft tissue. A surgical index is needed to stabilize a mucosa-supported guide during fixation. If sufficient teeth remain in the Simplant Guide design, the bite index that you made for the scan can be used as the surgical index. If insufficient teeth remain in the Simplant Guide design, it is recommended to make a surgical index directly in the patient's mouth using standard indexing material. Simplant Guide fixation is needed for the mucosa-supported Simplant Guide to minimize the risk of dislocation during site preparation. Use the surgical index to stabilize the Simplant Guide during fixation. If a flapless procedure is to be used, punching and removing of the soft tissue may be done prior to or after positioning and fixation of the Simplant Guide, depending on the dimensions of the instrument used. Further preparation of the implant sites is carried out with a sequence of drills, as described in the surgical guideline delivered with your Simplant Guide. When using the Simplant Pilot Guide, only the initial drilling step is guided. Remove the Simplant Pilot Guide to complete the drilling sequence and implant placement according to the manufacturer's specification. So that's it. You've now learned how to prepare and use the Simplant Guide and the surgical instruments that you will use. You're ready for a more precise and predictable surgery.